Now, with Ark Survival Ascended content currently drier than the Sahara Desert, for this video I decided to return to my beloved Ark Survival Evolved. I gave myself one real life week to beat every single Ark Survival story map. Starting on Monday, myself and fellow YouTuber and good friend Lowey, also known as Owen, would have seven days to finish every single map, meaning as the sun set on the following Sunday, we would have hopefully beaten the Island, Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinction, and both Genesis maps. It was going to be a crazy, crazy week. Make sure to check out Owen's POV for this challenge, which can be found in the description, and also come give me a follow on Twitch, where I streamed this full week live. Enjoy the video, guys. Day one of our week-long journey began as pretty much any arc journey does, spawning on the beaches. Survival Evolved's beaches did look a little bit odd and undercooked when I was so used to playing ASA at this point, but at least this game does have more than one map and doesn't crash every five seconds. To add a bit of spice to the very early game, Owen and I had decided to race to full flak and metal tools, with the loser gifting subs to the winner. So I spawned in self 2 as there is a nice mountain with some metal down here which would allow me to get the metal smelting as soon as possible. What I probably should have actually done first though was a full explorer note run and I spent the first 20 minutes of this week long challenge getting non-stop bullied by a mix of compies and mega neuras who by the way hit like an absolute truck on this game. Oh, one's oh but the way the big touch This game Oh. After many a death, including one to my beloved raptor, I finally hit level 20 and also managed to find a more peaceful part of the mountain where I could place down both a refining forge and a foundation. With so much metal to mine and smelt up, I immediately set my sights on making myself a metal pick with my first smelted metal. I then took out a nearby parasaur to boost my hide quantities before realising quite how far I was away from flak. Now, at this point, you could argue that it was probably curtains for me in the race against Owen. However, I had actually crafted up a bit of a master plan. As I would have to wait for the metal to smelt up anyway for the flak, I worked on crafting up the rest of my metal tools and then killed a tech parasaur, as the metal would then smelt simultaneously with the raw metal, before placing a bed down and killing myself, spawning on Crags Island where I would do a note run. At first, the XP was fairly slow, but after gathering a regular Explorer note, followed by a 4x1 nearby, I was now on 8x XP, and a couple more Explorer notes later, and I was easily above the level threshold needed for flak. I quickly fed myself to a nearby Dilophosaur, and while Owen was dying trying to kill a Spino for levels, I unlocked the rest of the flak and crafted it up. With the race now over, while I waited for my tribe mate to make his way over, I thought I would upgrade the forge setup to some stone foundations, just in case the nearby Ferrazino decided he wanted to one-tap my beautiful setup. I then farmed up some crystal from the top of the mountain and made a couple of awesome spyglasses for Owen and myself. The mods that we did use during this playthrough were your pretty standard ones for ASE of Dino Storage, Awesome Spyglass, Structures Plus and Custom Dino Levels, which was especially nice on the island where you just find level 5s around every corner. I started to cook up some meat, placed down a mortar and pestle, and then prepared to welcome Owen to the tribe. With not much time to lose, while we decided our plan of action, I found this 135 Pteranodon down on the beach, who I decided to tame up. Its pre-tame stats were nothing special, but it did come out post-tame with 43 points in weight, which wasn't too bad at all. Owen had now made us a nice raft, which are just amazing starter bases, as they allow you to travel around the map, while also crafting and getting things smelted along the way. Before we set sail though, I did take one last trip up our mountain, where I farmed up some more crystal to make some soul balls with. With the souls back at the raft, we potted the Pteranodon and then set sail. First stop was an absolute classic spot, and a bit of a throwback to my Raptors Evolve series, as we decided to spend a little bit of time on Herbivore Island. We were planning on basing long term in the north, but Herbie Island in the early game is just so, so good. A great selection of early game creatures to tame in peace, and a pretty nice supply of metal for this stage in the game, which made it extremely attractive to us. Soon after arriving and making up some narcotics, together Owen and I knocked out a level 85 Ankylo. Of course the main purpose of this tame was for metal, but upon taming up the Ankylo was also a lot better at farming berries than our hands, so it was actually extremely useful to have for some narcotic making production. Of course, the Ankylo wasn't going to be our main end goal though for berries. That honour instead went to this level 60 Bronto, with a huge 4 points into melee. It wasn't the greatest Bronto in the world to say the least, but honestly, we didn't have too much time to lose, so we decided to just go for it. After the Bronto hit the deck, while I waited for it to tame up, I decided to go and harvest some metal on the Anki for the forges. Having metal smelting constantly in the early game was going to be so crucial, as considering the nature of this challenge, we would actually be making things such an industrial forge, which is a bit of a rarity on the Rampy channel. 
The plan was for the island to be the main base of operations, where we would spend two days properly building up and farming everything we needed before hopefully going one by one to the other maps and storming them. It sounded like a foolproof plan at the time. With the Bronto tamed up and ready to go, we set off on our raft up north. The north on the island is really just the place to be, thanks to the drops and dino spawns, but the locals of the swamp obviously didn't want us making it up there. But to be fair, a lot of the S Plus features are actually Owen. been implemented into the game. Owen. Mate. Oh! oh! Swimming, Anki! Should I get the Bronto? No. We're getting the Bronto. Well, why are we getting the Bronto? Because <laughs> the Bronto does damage. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, carnage. After getting through the swamp, we headed up to Carno Island, where we wanted to look out for an Argentavis. It didn't take us too long to find this 135 on the beaches, so Owen and I worked together to knock it out. Oh, it's actually beautiful. There's just nothing else here. Lovely. It couldn't really be any better if we wanted it to be. Right, I'm just going to get some prime. After the 135 RG fell asleep in possibly the most convenient place possible, I quickly killed another RG to grab some prime meat for it and returned to the 135, where I dumped a whole load of prime into its inventory. While we waited for it to tame up, I thought I would check out what else had spawned on the island and found a lovely 150 Rex with a decent melee stat. As it was our goal to have ascended the island on the evening of day 2, we would need to get cracking with our Rex line as soon as possible, so this seemed like a great start. Where? <laughs> uh, left, left, left. God's sake. Save it. I saved it! I killed it! No! <laughs> <laughs> no, I killed the Carno and the Rex died to bleed. After witnessing the heartbreaking death of the 150 Rex, I consoled myself by naming the RG after a member of the Twitch chat, which is your reminder to come and follow me on Twitch so that you can get dinos named after you in the future. We then left Carno Island for the beaches of Crystal Mountain, where we found a level 130 RG. Having multiple flyers would be so important, so together we worked on knocking it out. Oh, shot! Nice. Oh. That's where I heard that connect, though. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was going to... Oh, it's got to be going down. Got to be going down. Down nice. we go. With the RG knocked out and taming, we went on our first metal run. When you're doing a race against the clock challenge, as we were, knowing that you have metal producing even while you were cracking on with something else is just such a good feeling. To get some more levels for the Anki and RG, we decided to take advantage of the lovely 8x XP boost you can get from combining a regular Explorer note and the 4x special ones, with one of these being located on Crystal Mountain. We then looted a yellow drop which had a couple of decent blueprints in it, including a baryonic saddle, before stumbling across an Alpha Raptor. As we still had our 8x XP active, we got a ton of levels on the Anki and RG from this kill, and our RG was now a bit of a weight monster. So we celebrated in the most hardworking way possible by doing another metal run. The 130 RG was now tamed up, so I quickly popped back to Crystal Mountain where I soulballed it up, before taking a trip to the snow biome to gather some oil to make a fabricator with. I ended up finding a 135 Sabre there too, so I decided to pick it up and bring it back with me, as we would need creatures to ride in the caves to grab all the artifacts, most of which we needed to grab on day one itself. Drop him. Yeah. Get him. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you bu- You- what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Get it. Absolute imbecile. You got it my way. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's about to go out. Absolutely smacked it's out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's going in the video. <laughs> After Owen briefly showed why he does not have the title of the Bowler God, we made up a fabricator while I repaired my flak. We had a ton of metal smelting up now, which felt pretty good. Now we weren't going to waste this fabricator on our raft, and it was now time to move to our base spot, which of course, no surprises here, was the Hidden Lake. I have built here on so many different challenges at this point, but honestly for challenge playthroughs, you just cannot beat this spot. It has great drop spawns, which would be crucial in our hunt for some good blueprints, great dino spawns, and of course, more metal than we could ever need, all spawning nearby. The base was also taking shape quite nicely, which is rare for a rampy video, but of course, I still shun the option of having any walls on the base, because who needs walls? 
A resource we would find ourselves needing over and over again on our first day was organic polymer, so I took a trip to the snow on the Argy where I murdered every penguin that I saw. We would need this for an industrial forge of course, but we didn't quite have the resources yet for that, so first I made Owen and I some sets of scuba. Now, while we would need scuba for the island water caves, we were actually making scuba to run the swamp cave. Owen had spent the last 30 minutes over in the swamp area taming up some frogs for us, so I made the scuba and set off to the swamp cave located in the redwood biome. Oh, it's Granning Stone. Golly. 140 dive, Heather. Was it? Oh, yeah. Alright. Net gun it up. Oh, me here, you. Lovely. Beautiful. Has it Brothers. on 900 torpor already? Have you been smacking oh, it? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. I've stopped. I've knocked out the Hespawners. It's going out, it's going out, it's going out. It's out. Alright, um... Piranhas! Run, watch out. After knocking out a Baryonyx that we could use for caving, we got the frogs ready at the entrance and prepared to enter the swamp cave. There we go. Hang on. Oh, he's probably gone. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot of cement and paste. 600 already, 700 already. Oh, it's, it's a machine. 1.8k, 2.43. What <laughs> about 4k? So it... Am I, am I full already? Meat. Drop the meat, drop the meat, drop the meat. That's nuts. Oh, there's so many more here. Oh, oh, I've got another. Oh, I've got 2k. 2.2k. 2.5k. Oh my god, I've got 4k. So many best two ways to get. Oh no, that's a lot of spiders. Yeah, I'm coming back. It had been a long time since I'd done the island swamp cave, and with our bumped rates to make this challenge possible, which you can find in the description below by the way, we got an insane amount of cementing paste. Our frogs were pretty battered at this point though, so we had to let them heal before we could return back into the cave and get the artifact. After taking a quick break for lunch, that is precisely what we did, as we came back into the cave with our frogs and entered the main room. The swamp cave also has a chance of spawning the two blueprints that we need above anything else, which is a pump action shotgun BP and a rex saddle BP. Uh, drops, terrible. What's in it? Is it one of those ones like electri attachment. electrical outlet BP or something? Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. Sounds, that sounds, that sounds... I'm pretty sure I had a yellow drop it's, back here. Yeah, because we need to get these, because these, these drops can have rex BPs. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's blue. No, that's fine. They can have. They can actually have Rex BPs. The blue drops aren't bad. They're just because the blue drops in yellow. Actually, oh, oh it's mm, uh, send a B gilly BP and hide. <laughs> but it's not a Rex. It's not a Rex. A Rex BP would is, is is what we're after, really. A Rex BP is what we're after. I'm taking. I'm taking me flippers off. I am not taking damage. And we got it. Easy. Nice. Nice. With the artifact of the immune being the first artifact we successfully retrieved in this challenge, we left the cave and left back towards the snow biome. On my way, I found an alpha raptor, so I thought I may as well kill it, and I was glad that I did, as I got a pretty decent apprentice crossbow from it. Penguin murdering time. My favourite. Oh. What, what's up, Owen? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, for oh, God's sake. Oh, Owen! <laughs> Absolute buffoon! After hearing the news that Owen had decided to run into a 145 Rex naked, I firstly contemplated my life choices regarding inviting him along for this challenge, before deciding to leave for Crystal Mountain to go and help him out. Right, probably stop shooting him now. One more and it's out. Nice. Right. Or oh, basic kibble on this drop. All right. I'm going to look at what we need to make a uh, industrial forge, Owen. Industrial forge. Oh, we can make one. Let's go. I've made one straight away. With the organic polymer that I had farmed and the metal that had been smelting up for the past few hours now, I could now finally make us an industrial forge, which felt like a pretty decent accomplishment. Of course, this isn't ASA, and wireless generators are not a thing on here, so at the same time as making the forge, I made ourselves an S Plus generator, and some wires and outlets to power everything up. With the forge and generator placed down and now online, I made up an industrial grill, so we would no longer be cooking cooked meat from campfires, like beach bobs. Close to base, I found this 150 beaver, so I locked it out at base, so that we could use it to farm some wood, to make some charcoal when it tamed up. 
I made up a chemistry bench and then left back towards the snow biome once more, where I went after a UT. This level 85 one I found would do pretty nicely, so I decided to net him earlier doors to do some torpor. UTs of course do have quite high torpor, so he did break out of the net, but then the silly dinosaur got himself stuck in his own pack of carnos while trying to run away, resulting in an easy knockout and tame for myself. Once tamed, I sold up the UT and then found this 150 Anki on the way back to base, who I thought I may as well bring back as a spare Anki wouldn't go amiss just in case. I was quickly knocking out the Anki I left it to tame and went off with the Sabretooth to Kano Cave. As always, there is only one way to do Kano Cave, which is by full sending it and jumping right off the cliff down towards the artifact, for dismounting just in time to spare your dino the full damage of course. Oh, it's a bit mental down here Owen, I'm not gonna lie. Let's fill up bats that cave is. Oh, the clutch dismount! <laughs> right, please just do not mess up Rampy and fall to the bottom of Kana of this cave. Please just don't do it. Just don't mess up. For once. For Rest. once. Eight don't eight. mess up. Oh no. Oh no. I messed up. I messed up. Pow. Well, I'm sort of about to, like, between a rock and a very hard uh, place. <laughs> Quite literally. Oh, dear. Hello, lads. All right, boys. Nice to see you. Oh, no. Oh, it's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's looking horrendous. Are you sure you don't need my assistance? Um... Well, I'm currently on foot because I've cryoed my saber because mm -hmm. it's on 70 HP. It's, it's up to okay. 97 now. Uh, we're looking yeah. good. We're looking good, but I, I'm clutching. We, 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 could, we could be clutching. One man and his otter, as the chat is saying. We, we could be about to make play of the century. Uh-oh. Go on. Uh-oh. We could be doing it. We, we might be doing it. I'm out of stamina. Oh no, it's bad timing. It's bad timing. It's really bad timing. Go, Saber, go! It's incredible content. He makes it out of the cave alive. After somehow making it out of Karno Cave alive, with the artifact of the Devourer in my possession, I set off to meet Owen down south at the Lava Cave, where the artifact of the Massive is stored. On my way, however, I spotted a couple of decent level Ichfis, so I decided to stop up and tame them, as we would need some of these to do the water caves with later today, or maybe tomorrow. Right, I mean, this cave's been pretty easy. I feel like this cave is harder on ASA. I think caves in general are just a bit harder on ASA, from what my memory. Yeah. memory. Oh no! Owen! Owen! We, no one saw- Oh no, my otter! <laughs> I successfully looted the artifact of the massive, and we also managed to get an ascendant long neck blueprint in there. As we made our way out of the cave, it was looking like another successful cave run for the boys. Do you want grapples? Uh, I believe I can make this. Sh uh oh, uh oh, Owen! Thankfully, Owen had been quick enough to soul up the saber with his soul gun, and I was able to get my bag back out of the lava using the S plus transfer tool. We then spent the rest of the day looking for Rexes. While Owen had successfully tamed up that one with 30 points to start with earlier, and it had come up with a very decent 40 points into melee, we had no HP stat at all, so we really needed to tame one up as soon as possible so we could start pumping out baby Rexes ready for bosses. We did end up finding this 145 after a long while of searching, and while it was a painfully average HP stat with only 23 points, we felt we had little alternative but to tame it up and roll the dice. While the Rex tamed, I flew around the map looting some drops, and did manage to get an Ascendant shotgun blueprint, but regular shotguns are just so terrible compared to pump action shotguns, there was no way we would ever make this. Returning to the Rex, we saw that it had come out with 31 points into HP, which was pretty terrible and not what we were hoping for. In fact, it was so terrible that as the sunset set on day one, I attempted to tame a Rhino gaffer with it, as we had collected the pheromone earlier that day. A Rhino would just simply allow us to travel across the map at an incredible speed and increase our productivity, which is why we wanted it. Uh-oh. Uh, my bird is very, like, amber right now. Um, it says at the top how many. 
So out of five. Uh, it was um, three out of five, and it was like very high percentage. Yeah, the percentage drops quickly. Okay, yeah, it does. All right, it's a hundred HP. This is already. This is, yeah. Damn. Um. No! No! Oh, I think I know what you've just done. So, with a rather humiliating end to day one, we logged off for the night to get some well-earned rest, as we had a very big day ahead of us the next day. Day two of our week-long challenge began in style, as we did a metal run to fill up our industrial forge. I then took a trip to the snow biome to get some more organic polymer, followed by killing some tech dinos for electronics, and then a quick crystal run as we were completely out of crystal. Back at base, I used all of this to make an egg incubator, an engram that I miss very, very much on ASA, and I then crafted up an industrial cooker, mainly so we could make things like med brews, which are just so important to have on you at all times. As the self-proclaimed breeder man, I had been given the job of combining the stats and then breeding up the boss rexes, so this was going to take up a good portion of the morning session on day two. I also had to irrigate the industrial cooker, which is the one downside of coming back to Survival Evolved, of course, as it works wirelessly in ASA. You ready for this, Owen? Yeah. Boom! Oh, lovely. Look at that, it's actually pretty smart. Look, this is, this is the best base I've ever made. I immediately decided to make good use of this cooker by cooking up some med brews, as I was preparing to go caving once more. Owen had made a couple of the Ascendant long necks from the blueprint that we had looted in the lava cave, so I took mine from the smithy along with some simple rifle ammo. I made up a hatchery to auto pick up those Rex eggs while I was away, and then left to go to the artifact of the pack cave with Phil the Sabertooth. I've got a Pteranodon saddle blueprint in this. Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of piranhas. Right, I'm on my way to Westwater now. Oh. oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got Mega Rabies. Oh, it's all right, Med Bruce for the win. No problem. And pack artifact retrieved. Nice. Another artifact, Dan. I'm going to run out of this cave. I've got to jump. Is it, is it? It's not night time by any chance, is it? Turning night time. Oh, crap. Why? There's a Megalosaurus in the way of the cave. I'm going to take one over there. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to make oh, oh, dear. E what? No problem. Um, yeah, all good. All good. Just had a um, nice, friendly chit chat with the, the Megalo that was in the way. <laughs> After just about surviving the pack cave, I met up with Owen on the west zone of the island, where we prepared to go after the artifact of the brute. We had our scuba gear and our ichthys, so the plan was to pretty much get in there at the speed of light and then get out as quickly as possible, hopefully with the artifact in our possession. Of course, that meant that there was only one name for the ichthy, which was of course Lightning McQueen, but there was no time for paint jobs today. Bunch of silica piles, and yep. drops. Oh, we should, oh, yeah, we need to look out for loot drops. More mags, watch out. There's a yeah. Moser. The Moser? Where? What, in, in here? the wall. Oh, nice. Another one. Oh. I don't have my awesome... Oh, is that another Moser? Moser. Three Mosers. Uh, I'm going to get off. Hey. I'm getting off. Why? Going on foot. Safety. Oh. oh, there's a drop in here. Oh, there's a drop, Owen. No, sir. Really do we're getting that drop in here. In the water? Yeah. Oh, another drop here. Black helmet BP. Oh no. Um This is bad. There's another drop here, yellow one. Okay, black helmet BP oh. you got? Yeah, it's baryonic saddle and a pack patchy saddle blueprint. Oh, that's that's not great. You draw them out, I'll and I'll swim in and get it. Okay, um Oh I got healed! I got healed! It could be, it could be curtains. It could be curtains. Oh, the megs have all stopped moving. Okay, I, I need to make, uh, where are you? Like, I'm just sort of I'm swimming. At, at the end on the land. Okay, so I'm just making a run for it, yeah? Out, yeah. Okay. 
So while I took on the role of kiting the dinos away and taking their attention, Owen grabbed the artifact of the brute and we sped out of the cave. Feeling confident about how relatively easily we had managed to get the brute, we decided to head straight over to the east side of the island to have a go at the other water cave which houses the artifact of the cunning and is well, a pretty difficult cave with a crazy amount of spawns inside. I don't have a reply on me and, and I am not going to be the guinea pig. Oh, that's some eels. So many things in this cave. <laughs> this cave is actually nuts. Right, no two sows, please. No two sows. Is there a drop? Is there a drop? Is a drop spawn normally along here? Uh, no drop. Eels, 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 eels. Uh, I'm go I've gone in the chamber. Okay, uh, I'll I'll aggro things. Oh! Oh, there's a lot of stuff down here. Oh, that's a nil. Oh, that's a nil. Oh, that's a nil. He missed. Oh, he got me. He got me. Oh, it's so. It's 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 got to be Joe over. Oh, I missed it. I missed the button. Oh no. What? Don't just don't question. Just don't question. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, get out of the cave. Get out of the cave. Get out of the cave. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just going to make a break for it with the artifact. The worst case, I go you back You've got the artifact? Yeah, I've got go, the artifact. I've got go, it. I've got go, it. Go, go, go. I would like to look for drops, but I think it's just prioritised getting the artifact out. No, no, no. Get out. Um, I'll stick around and look for drops. There's so much stuff in here. Oh. With the artifact of the cunning secured, after somehow making it out of the cave alive, I made our way out of the cave and back to the beach where I dumped the artifact. I did briefly actually come back into the water cave, as of course both water caves are pretty much the best places to farm blueprints on the island, but sadly there was nothing there for us on this occasion to shout home about, so we both left the cave for good and headed back to base. Back at base I began to hatch up a couple of rexes. I was still working on combining the best stats of 31 HP and 40 melee, but for now we decided to raise up just a couple of the lower HP ones which we would use in the very last artifact cave, which was of course the snow cave, where the artifact of the strong is found. We still weren't very happy with the HP stat on the Rex line at all, in fact it was incredibly poor, but we had searched all across the island both last night and this morning and had found absolutely nothing. With little to no choice, we just had to plod on, so I left for the snow where I came back with this 140 Daedon, which we would of course use to heal up the Rexes. It wasn't quite a snow owl of course, but until we got to extinction, we wouldn't be able to get one of those. With the Daedon tamed, at base we murdered a ton of baby Rexes to level our snow cave Rexes up, and I then sat and healed them as best as I could on the Daedon. Not long after, we left to go after our very last artifact on the island. Ah! Get back! I'm stunned! Oh. Owen, you're gonna have to I'm knock them you. back. I'm saving you. Save me, Owen, save me! 1.1k damage, are oh, we're good. I'm getting the drop. I'm getting the drop. Yeah, or, more, or more, I'm just despawning the drop so that we're gonna get another one later in the cave. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Direwolves angry. Ow. Ow. Angry Direwolves. Owen! I'm fighting stuff, man. Because they pin you and you can't turn around quick enough. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, there's a drop, there's a drop, there's a drop. Ready for a cheeky Patchy Rhinosaurus saddle, Whoa. Ascendant, and a Mastercraft stone hatchet blueprint. It's huge. It's huge. With the help of our Rexes and our Otters on our shoulders stopping us from freezing, the Artifact of the Strong wasn't actually too much of a challenge, and we soon found ourselves closing in on the final section of the cave. And, oh, there's a red drop. Nice. Oh, um, it's a huge, huge racer BP and scuba flippers. This is a bit ridiculous that we can just like mesh by our way through <laughs> yeah. all this. I could, no way, there's no way I fit through. Oh my God, I'm still going. I'm still moving. Okay, I don't know if I can go any further now. I think this, this is it. I think that's it. The yellow drop in here, but I can't see. Eh? A yellow drop in the water. Huh? Yeah, I can hear it. But I can't see it. You can hear it. You should have the artifact. I'm going on. Oh, and what are you doing? No. Let's drop um, slingshot megaloceros saddle. That's, sling... that's one of the worst yellow drops I've ever seen. Yeah, okay, it's not. It's just not even worth getting, is it? 
With the artifact of the strong now retrieved, we were feeling pretty happy with where we found ourselves on day two. We had all the artifacts now to summon the bosses, but we still had a pretty grindy job ahead of us. We would have to raise and then level up 20 or more Rexes, which we would then use to fight the free guardians of the island, as well as the Overseer. To level them up, I just did it the classic rampy way of by killing baby dinos, and it worked pretty well, especially with the two of us working together on it. One rather large concern was that we still had no Rex blueprint, and we were saddling all these Rexes with only primitive saddles. We still thought that we probably had enough in the bag, as Gamma Island isn't too hard, but some of those later maps are really, really tough looking at you Genesis 1, and we were going to have to pick up a blueprint along the way at some point if we wanted to succeed on this challenge. After doing some healing with the Deodon, our Rexes were about half health. It might seem a little bit crazy for us to go into boss fights with Rexes at half health, but we were pretty confident that we could do both the Broodmother and then the Monkey. We'd then take a break before going into the Dragon fight later that evening, giving the Rexes time to heal up while we had our dinner. I'm going to take this one with 9.7k out, in case. More important we get the ET in, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's go. Are you going on the UT? Uh, yeah, I can do UT. Okay. Um, are you whistling? Yeah, I'm just whistling. Oh, yeah, I can do. Yeah, they're in, they're in. Go on, Rexes. Yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, the boom is going down. Definitely going down. I'm, I'm, I haven't moved yet, I'm still stuck. Yeah, neither of most of the other Rexes either. Yeah, go on, easy. Easiest dub. Come on. Yeah, Broodmub is getting a bit a bit obliterated here, to be <laughs> honest. Look at that health. Alright, nice. I reckon we can go straight for monkey. Mm-hmm. I really do. Easy. After absolutely melting the Broodmother and only taking a very small amount of damage on our Rexes, we opted to go straight into the monkey fight, so that we could remain on schedule to defeat the island by the close of day two. Let's go. Monkey time. And then we then they can heal for the dragon. After we smack this monkey around the park. Mm-hmm. Right, bring the Rexes back, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We don't want her falling off the cliff. Whistle them more. Hello, Mr. Monkey. No, you see, not the time to stop for a shit. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Nice to see you. Gonna throw a rock at him in a minute. Get him. Alright, get in there. Get in there, Rexis. It's going down. Oh, oh he's getting word. destroyed. Oh, he's getting destroyed even more than the brood. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's got less, a bunch of less health. Uh, bye, monkey. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Two bosses down in about five minutes, and we were feeling pretty good about life. We now had to try and use this time wisely, though, as we had to let all the Rexes heal up ahead of the dragon fight. That dragon fire breath attack does 20% of max HP, meaning that we could not afford to go in there with Rexes that were already dead on their feet. So we thought we may as well use this time to check for blueprints once more. So while Owen checked out the water caves, I went back to the swamp on the Baryonyx to see if I could get lucky in a drop. It was a bit of a heartbreaking one to loot an Ascendant Ferrazino blueprint, one of the rarest BPs in the game and a pretty great one at that. However, it just wasn't the Rex blueprint or the shotgun blueprint that we were looking for. Back at Greenob after a couple of hours break, the evening session kicked off with us getting straight into the dragon fight. Right, you ready? Let's go. Wait, which, um... Right. It's dragon time, baby. Right, I'll go on UT again, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Duranus, I'm trying to get on the UT. Ah, uh, gonna have to whistle the Rexes, Owen. Good work. Thank you. Please don't fireball me, dragon. Um, that's gone to the Rexes. Yeah. Ah, 300 damage, nice. And he's and hit the Rexes again. And nice. Good start. Um, we are here, you know. Uh, oh, for God's sake. All right, hang on. Did you see the explosion? No. Oh, I see that, that one. Oh. oh my God, I've got a half health, half health. And I'm... Oh wait, he's broke my armor. Yeah. 
Get it. Come on, lads. Oh, no, 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 no. They fight. They, they, they. Come on. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Quick. Come on. Good damage. Um, I should kind of forgot my job. <laughs> I kind of forgot my job. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I think we're fine. Right, I'm back. I'm back to almost full health now. It would, uh, doesn't worry about you, Owen. Look at the dragon. He's an absolute dead man oh. walking. Lovely. Good stuff. With the dragon now down and defeated, and most of the Rexes pretty great on HP still, we set our sights on the tech cave. First though, while I looted the swamp cave once more for drops, Owen looted something pretty incredible in the hard water cave the issue is drop um no <gasps> rampy you got it what you got i'm getting out rampy 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 yeah. rampy 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 unmute yourself now oh i'm mute i'm muted what is it what is it what have you got guess which one of the two things we want right, i just well, got we need a rex saddle or a shotgun bp isn't it it's one of the two i'm correct yeah an ascendant Three, three, four. Oh yeah. I'm sure I'm blueprint. Yeah, now that's what. Wait, wait, give me the cost. Give me the cost. Give me it. Give me it. Oh, um, give me let me get out the case first. Oh, okay, okay. That's naughty, that guys. That is naughty. But we did not have time to farm up the resources for those right now, and instead we turned our attention to the volcano. Lining up Rexes for the Tech Cave is probably one of my least favourite things to do in the whole of Ark, as you can't throw them out near the terminal, and when you activate the Tech Cave, the gap is so narrow that you pretty much have to move them in one by one. We decided that I would be the UC rider, in charge of marshalling the Rexes and making sure that they didn't walk into the lava, which is honestly probably the hardest challenge we had at this stage. Right, I'm right, going again, going again. I'm going to try and bring... I need to bring the Rexes down this way. 2k damage. Oh, the Arthros deal a lot. Oh, you've got the Rexes stuck. I know. Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to bring them this way. Don't bring them so close behind. No, mate. Never. Never. And I'm stuck again. <laughs> oh, my God. This but... is pain already. Bro, I'm in the middle of them. Um, boss 16 here. Hey, boss 16. <laughs> You're getting bullied, though. does 400 damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like a tsunami of Rexes. <laughs> just landed on me. <gasps> Boss Rex 15, we're, we're, we're on an excursion there. Alright, this way, lads. After this one's, lads. Come on. Here, the boys come. Oh, they're, they're still having a scrap. Get them. Alright, this way, this way, boys. Come on. I don't know how we've not lost one, but we still have not lost one. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this one down with me. It's gonna to have to be a couple at a time. I feel like for the Rexes, uh, it might be all right, actually. Ah, uh, yeah. It could be right, Beliefers. I don't know. I don't think there is. I think you're right. I think no, Giga. Um, right. Uh, just so you know, I'm taking the shortcut. Okay. The rampy shortcut. Ooh. Oh dear. And just as I was saying the dinosaurs weren't the smartest, some managed to throw themselves off the cliff a bit too far here and into the lava. We did manage to save all of these Rexes, but we had been forced to soul ball about four or five of them up, and they would of course no longer be able to be thrown back out and entered into the cave. Still though, with about 15 Rexes left, and most with pretty good health, we were confident that we were in a pretty good shape ahead of the Overseer fight, and we teleported to what I call the Hall of Fame and marched up towards the Overseer arena. Let's go Rexes, get in there! Oh, the UT's out of stamina. Sorry, Ooh, gonna have wrecky. to wait a minute. Yep. What's the stamina? 
Uh, 2k, but it's, uh, ha it's under half health. Don't know how that uh. happened. It's almost like someone was jumping it off loads of cliffs. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely no idea. Wonder who did that. Come on, get it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's huge damage. Oh, it's huge damage. Already. Oh. It's the first boss is here already. What is it? Rude, my Rude. Get it, guys. I'm just getting bullied Courages. on the UT. They are, you are encouraged. Need more. I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Ow. Ow. All right, first boss down. Let's go. Oh my word, we're just shredding this thing. We're shredding it. Next boss is in. What is it? I win 1v1. Ooh. I win 1v1, question mark. Oh, 2.7k. Ouch. I win 1v1. I win 1v1. Help. <laughs> I win 1v1. <laughs> Oh, the, the... I need to switch Renix. This one's 8k. Oh, yikes. That's what, I mean, that is what happens with the primitive saddle. Realistically. Right, who's, who's no? 17, 19, 19, 19, 19. Oh, that's a bit laggy. Oh, yep, yeah, dragon. Dragon time. Get it, guys. Did you get? Did you get it? Did you get the whistle? Yeah, yeah, I got the whistle. Get in there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Get behind. Yeah. We're shredding it, though. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. We've got one more boss to defeat, I think. It's four bosses every time. I think it's random, right? Yeah, it's random. Ow. The dragon Ooh. set me on fire. I don't really know how that happened. Beauty's getting absolutely blasted. Come on. Come on, Rexes. Do us proud. Maybe on oh. the. Oh! It's done. Oh, let's go. I thought we had to do one more. Same. Nice. Yep, get the get that element. That is, that is too easy. Too easy. We should keep no, the gear, get, right? Get, get into this thing. I'm in the circle. I'm not. Oh, you bet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> so, come on. Bye, Owen. No! The long neck shot of destiny! And so on the evening of day two, we had successfully ascended from the island. We were right on schedule and on day three, we were eyeing up the successful completion of Scorched Earth and potentially Aberration as well. Before we logged off for the night, however, we still had some basic tasks to do, such as a metal run. And it was that night, just before hitting the sack of some decent kip, that a legend was born. Oh. Oh, I've actually got a good name for my otter, actually. You ready? Oh, yeah. You ready? You can see me, you see me name the otter. Mm-hmm. What do you reckon? It's okay. <laughs> oh, I love Harry Otter. Let's go. What a name. You're a wizard, Harry. The last thing that we did do that night was to craft up some shotgun ammo in preparation to make our shotguns the next day. And then finally, we left to get some rest, feeling that we were in a, a good place in our week-long challenge. Day three was now upon us, and while we had only completed one map in the first two days, we felt that we were in a pretty decent position heading into the rest of the maps. The day began with a bit of a surprise though, when we found a 145 Karakurodontosaurus on top of the Obsidian Mountain. So we of course had to try and tame it. 
Owen, what what are you doing? This guy, man. Assistance, please. This guy. Assistance, please. Yes, I'm on my way. Oh, it's coming after me. Oh, for God. Oh, I can just hear it. Save the author, save the author, save the author. What if it's the lag road? I might be dead here. Oh, I see. I'm coming. Run! I'm dead. Dead, dead. Oh, I didn't take any full damage. I took the aggro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You saved me. Oh, wait. I'm out of stamina. This is bad. <laughs> I, I I knew I was... <laughs> save, the, save the PT. No, no. I'm out. I'm out. I don't know what he's... Oh, no, it's back on me. Um, no. Is it back on you? Yeah. I'm definitely dead. Yep. Let me die. Let me die. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Let it, just let it kill me. Um, then I'll come over on an RG. I'm checking this red drop. Oh, okay, right. that's annoying. It's being fed. Come on, Karcher. It's got just got a Megalo BP, not a Rex. Hello. Yes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on. Oh no. You can't walk it for God's sake. Um. Get back to the Karcher. It should be tamed. Um. Yeah. Bit of an issue. Um, me? What the hell? What's happening? I don't know. It's not been the greatest of mornings for us. The morning of day three had just been an absolute disaster class from start to finish for both Owen and Rampy, as we had managed to run almost every single flyer we owned down mid. A truly impressive effort from the boys, making every effort possible to mess up the good position they had put themselves in after two days. I just lure it away. Okay, I'm going for myself. Oh dear. Oh, Owen. Owen, how many otters are you going to run down mid today? We might lose the RG. Come on. Nice and flat area. Come on, Karchi. Karchi. We want to stay further back. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, back. Okay. Right. Karchi, come on. Come on. Yes. Are you sniffing? He's sniffing. He wants, his, <laughs> on. he wants a nice Happy snack. Spawn. Go on, lad. Oh, slow. You got it. It's ready. Let's go. You go to team PTs. Yeah. Oh, I get the real. After Karcher. all. After Karcher. all. I can't get on the car. <laughs> there we go. All right, you're on it. So while Owen had a great time murdering dinosaurs to tame up the car char, I had the job of replacing all the flyers, which wasn't the most fun. I will say though that the combination of nets, the ascendant long neck, and the shocking trank darts we had made made knocking out this Argentavis a much easier experience than it would have been otherwise. We then had to level our recently tamed Pteranodons, as they were going to be very important on Scorched Earth, as we wanted to get a decent level wyvern egg, so we of course did this in the classic fashion of murdering some more babies. So I flew over to Greenob with the newly leveled Pteranodon and soul balled it up there, along with Harry Otter of course, and prepared to go over to Scorched Earth. I can't quite tell you how much all I was looking forward to playing a map which wasn't the island for the first time since October. Alright, let's have it. Are we going to get a Rhino? Uh, not right now. Oh, it's night time. Alright, get it. We're going to go for Wyverns on Essie. Alright, so I'm spawning in the north. Favors. Wasteland. Uh, oh, come on. No, don't do not do it. But crash my game. Oh. It appears that game crashes aren't an ASA only thing, however, and these cutscenes in particular seem to trigger them for some reason. After I loaded back up, I grabbed up my stuff and set off in the direction of the Blue Obelisk Cave. I do always struggle to find this cave, and I wasn't helped when some joker in the chat decided to give me the wrong coords. But eventually, I did find myself at the cave entrance, where I threw out Phil the Saber and entered the cave. I'm in my cave now. Then we need. Oh, they went to, 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 then are we going to meet at the Wyvern Scar? Is that that our plan? Yeah. Hello there. He's a bit asleep. Oh, oh. So is, it, is, it, is it turning nighttime anytime soon? Um, it's turning daytime. Thank God. Eglows have literally just appeared to have gone to sleep then. And a red drop in the cave, and it's got a mantis saddle in it, just like apparently everything else on this map. 
Oh, and I've got Mega Rabies. Lovely. Join the club. It's at this point, Owen, that doing our dino custom dino leveling is coming back to haunt us because every dino <laughs> in this cave is like 140. Right, got the artifact of the crag. With the artifact retrieved, Owen managed to get the other two while I turned my attention to the wyvern scar. A good wyvern would just be so handy for getting ourselves around the map and just improve our productivity a lot, which would be important in the remaining days. Oh my god, what? Lightning egg. Level 160. Right. That is what we want. A 160 lightning egg is most Level. definitely what we want. Yeah. Jump off. Grab the wyvern egg and get out of it. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. You got nets, remember? Yep. I've got, I've got the whole wyvern scar after me, Owen. I'm not really thinking about the nets right now. Okay, um, remember, if you're about to die, try um, ball up your PT. It's all right, it's all right. I'm just, I'm just kiting them all past some wild RGs. I'm pretty sure they're going to aggro onto them. Most of them will, well, anyway. them wyverns on a PT. Uh, no, not, but if you barrel roll, you are. Okay. Got away pretty smoothly, actually, there. And some might call it a rampy masterclass, and, you know. After a huge rampy masterclass, I left the Wyvern Scar and went to upload the Wyvern Egg at a drop, as my terror was struggling to carry the added 50 weight that each Wyvern Egg weighs. I then went to tribe up with Owen, and we had to go and get his stuff back, as unlike Rampy, this man clearly didn't have the skills to pay the bills, and both him and his terror had tied to a random lightning Wyvern that he'd stumbled across in the desert. Along with the artifacts, we would also need two of each Talon to summon the Manticore boss, so I aggroed the Wyverns over to Owen, who munched them to death on a Rex. I then did have a fly through the entire scar looking for an egg for Owen, but there were just no decently leveled wyvern eggs at all. So we just had to give up on that for now, and I headed back to Ireland where I hatched my lightning egg. Right, 160 lightning is hatched at base. Oh wow, 31 points into melee. Lovely. It's pretty good, 29 H, it's, it's not gonna be a weight wyvern, it's worst out his weight. But it's a pretty good, pretty good Death wyvern. Wire. Come on. With all the tributes now collected, we had some final preparation to do on the island for the Manticore, which included making some more medical brews, shotgun ammo, and of course the two pump action shotguns from the blueprint that Owen had looted the previous day. While he grabbed some polymer over on Scorched Earth and Mantises, I took a trip to the iceberg with my new wyvern to farm some of that precious organic polymer by killing baby penguins. And it wasn't long until we found ourselves ready to go and take on the Manticore. So I flew to the nearest green drop on the mountain near our base and traveled back to Scorch for the Manticore boss fight, accidentally leaving poor Harry Otter himself on the mountainside. Right, yeah, your YouTube crag. Is, uh, waiting for you to put the crag in. Ready? Yes. No time to lose. Let's go, 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 go. Are you going to put your armor on before we go in? This is all or? the armor I've got. <laughs> you are kidding me. Uh, nope. Right, take that. I'll be, uh, no, take it. I'm not doing it again right. because you've gone in naked like an imbecile. Ah. No, is this? Yeah, it's my good Rex. Oh. Oh, shoot at him. Nice. I can't solo him with a shotgun, you know. Oh. Is, are we keeping the Rexes up here? Uh, no, we should probably bring them down. We should probably bring them down. Oh, yes. The, well, joys, of, the joys of the Manticore. <sighs> I actually hate this boss. I just despise this boss. Get it. Mm, it's going pretty well so far, to be fair. Go on, Rexes. This is good. It is hot in here, by the way. Come right, on, let's oh, oh, come on. Rampy with the final hit. On. Nice, nice, nice. Boss 17. Love it. Good stuff. We definitely could have honestly done Alpha. 
The Manticore fight on Scorched is one of the easiest fights in the whole game, so we weren't really expecting many problems, and considering I had beaten this map without taking a single speck of damage before, shameless plug for an old video of mine right there, I wasn't expecting it to give us many problems, and indeed, it didn't. One map that always strikes fear into the heart of most people though, is Aberration, and halfway through day 3, that is where we would be headed next. <laughs> to make sure that we didn't get stuck on Aberration and waste time, we had to do a bit of careful planning. If you cannot find a drop on Aberration, you can easily find yourself stuck on this map for quite some time. So we prepped a mini base to hopefully minimise the amount of trips back to the island. I of course first went to salvage Harry Otter from the perils of Crystal Mountain, and then met up with Owen on Aberration and we tribed up. I let Owen set about with the base work, while I prepared to set off to the red zone to grab some red gems. Another little flex here is that I've also beaten this map without taking damage, which is probably my finest achievement on Ark so far, so I was confident nothing here could be a challenge too much. However, it had been about half a year since I had set foot on Aberration, so I'd kind of forgot where a lot of the spore placements are, and ended up knocking myself out in the blue zone. The reason we were in desperate need of red gems by the way, is because we needed red gems to make gas collectors, which we would then need to make hazmat suits, which we would then need to get rock drake eggs, which we then needed to get the artifacts to do the boss with. We had it all planned out. This is not radiation here, I don't really know why, but it's not. Kill them. Yes, I know baryonyx, I don't really care though that you've got radiation. Main thing is I don't. Where's these red gems? There they are, there's red gems there. Red gems there. What I'm here for. Okay, we did it. 177 red gems successfully gotten out of radiation. Now I just have to get back to base with my baryonyx being very over encumbered. After just about getting out of radiation alive with the red gems, I felt a very lucky man. At base, we managed to make three gas collectors and I went to the edge of the blue zone to place them down as I knew very well that there were three gas collector points very close together here. The problem was though that we would have to wait about an hour or so for the gas balls to make, and I did not have an hour. You see, this day was actually Valentine's Day, and Mrs. Rampy and I had pre-agreed to go out for a meal today. Thus, we did not have long left of day 3 at all, so the last thing I did on day 3 was to go over to Scorched and grab some cactus sap, which we would then use to make some cactus broths with. You'll see why this was so important the following day. The last thing I did before going out to enjoy my lovely Chinese buffet that evening was to do a quick metal run with Owen and our industrial forge was full to the brim as I logged off that night. Thankfully for me, as I was stuffing my face to the brim with Chinese, Owen had stayed up to do a bit more work on the night. He'd made us up a couple of hazmat suits each and had also tamed up some spinos, so I claimed myself a spino to start day 4. I actually did just end up using this tame spino though and we killed some babies to get some levels on it. Once it was levelled, we were now about to go diving into the trench, hunting for rock drake eggs. Me? Where the hell are you? I'm at the bottom of the- Oh, that was unbelievable! Unbelievable chat! The mate boosted spino combo made pretty short work of the rock drakes at the bottom of the trench. We now just had to track down one good rock drake egg each. I, I, have we missed like nests here? I don't there's, know. There's one. I can't see the level on the egg. Yep, here maybe. Where? Right behind us. I can't, I can't see the level of the egg. It literally does okay, not know you're there. 175. 175? Yeah, four so. Right, nice. One good one good Drake egg got. Oh, win. Watch Drake, watch Drake, watch Drake, watch Drake. Ah! Oh, damn, what are you doing? 
I got scared. I got my tried to get my shotgun out, and you you put me over the edge. I'm pretty sure. Owen, oh my god. Owen. Oh, Owen. No. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, uh, what about me? I don't know, man. What a joke. He's good, he says. Judge, <laughs> <laughs> absolute joker. Alright, got the egg. Got the egg? Yeah. So I can eat this level 60 now. Oh, yeah, all, right, all the drakes are coming for you. I can see them. Are they? Oh, they're, they're, they're oh here they are. I can hear them. After a bit of a search for the second egg, we did manage to get two 175 rock drake eggs, which would do us just fine. We also then pulled out the big brain play of exiting the trench by the Rockwell summoning portal and travelling back to the island via there, which was of course much faster than making our way out of the trench on foot. Of course, there was still time for a bit of a disaster class first though. Oh, and... Oh, I... Oh, is your light pet dead? Made it. Nope. How did yours die? I don't know, but all my has is broken as well. Hey? Eh? Back on the island, we began to incubate the rock drake eggs, and the egg incubator revealed that both drakes had pretty average stats across the board, which for this challenge was actually pretty ideal. I then left to go once more back to the icebergs to farm up some more organic polymer, which we actually used to make ourselves a tech replicator, making use of that element that we had farmed on the gamma bosses on island. The rock drakes were now ready to hatch, so we hatched them up. And before going back to Aberration, we had a couple more jobs to do, which included a metal run, raising up some car chars, which had the huge 24 points into melee that Owen had tamed up on that 145, and then also murdering some babies to level up the drakes. With the drakes leveled, we could now return back to Aberration, and we split up in search of the artifacts. Taking one for the team, I took on the troublesome job of going for the Artifact of the Shadows, which is by far the hardest of the three, while Owen went for the Artifact of the Stalker and the Depths in Radiation and Glotel Cave. No! Drowning! Drowning! Made it! Uh, okay, Made it! Um... Oh, Jesus. Oh, right, crap. Oh, dear. Hello. Well, that was a nice, friendly um, introduction to the cave. Uh, I'm not here, lads. I'm not here. Fish. Goodbye, jellyfish. How is that eel not dead? Nice jellyfish. Very nice jellyfish. None in sight. Is good. Rock Drake cloaking ability is OP. Oh, there it is. There's the jellyfish of destiny. Right. Oh, no. Oh, well, that really is the de dead jellyfish of destiny at the end right there. Can we avoid that? Hang on, are we out of the water now? Why is there an eel annoyed at me? Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? I'm going to have to go for it. Oh, no! What is going on? Ah! What is going on? What? I have no words to describe what's going on right now.
What? This game is unbelievable. Fuck. Stupid game. Well, at least two artifacts are done. Nice one. The Drake literally, as Emo just went, just Drake just went, not my problem. The most useless thing I have ever seen. So while I spent about 10 minutes ranting to Owen about how ridiculous this game is at times, together we returned to Shadow Cave with me on the back of his rock Drake. The one problem with this is that when you have a person on the back, it appears that the invisibility feature no longer actually works. So I'm hoping that they still went aggro, but there is a possibility that because I'm on the back that the invisibility is not going to work. Looks um, like we're... Oh. Owen? Um, ah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I might have screwed us here. Just oh, go. Uh, I think you get off and... No. I want to... I have decided I am making a stand. All right, well, Drake. Dickhead. You bulb dog. No! Uh oh, there's a baryonyx there, Owen. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I am going to lose it in a minute. I am going to lose it. I wasn't even in the water. It's safe to say that this cave was well and truly testing my sanity. Probably a combination of that and also playing Ark 12 hours a day for the past four days now. So, you know when we said we agreed to split the caves? I don't want to hear it. And I'm now doing every single cave. Right. Right. Don't you ever do that to me again. Are you okay? Yeah, he's almost dead. Jesus, I didn't, really, I didn't quite... Got 1k health. I didn't realise it was that low. What are you doing? <laughs> you know. I've just turned around. You're almost killing your own Drake. <laughs> Thankfully, the rest of the cave did go much smoother. I did eventually manage to find myself at the Artifact of the Shadows. With all artifacts collected and no time to lose, we set off to the Rockwell boss terminal. We were going to use the Cactus Broth and Shotgun method to run this fight, and we were pretty confident that this should go relatively smoothly. Oh, Bulldog, get it off. Get, up, get, up, get rid of your Bulldog. Yes. What's that? Right, he's down. Oh, uh, can you get it? I got. I got it. Name I, I got it. Alone. One Reaper. He is like as far away as possible then. Let's go. Oh, that's one. Easy. Let's go. Another map done. Three. Station, here we come. Three down. Three to go. Aberration down and we were still mostly on track. Our original plan left almost a day spare at the end of the challenge to a man for mess ups and things that didn't quite go to plan, but neither of us accounted for what Extinction had in store for us. Still on day four, Owen and I headed on straight over to Extinction, where I found this level 135 Managama, who I decided would be a very useful tame, and plus I hadn't used a mana in ages and kind of wanted to use one again. Another dino I hadn't used in ages, but we certainly needed was a Snow Owl for both their healing abilities and also because they are nice and speedy to have. And with the way we ran flyers down mid, having plenty of them was always wise. We were looking around for Giggers and Karchars to tame, but we didn't manage to find any good ones on this occasion. So while we waited for them to respawn, I knocked out this level 135 Rex, which I found with 25 points into HP. It would end up taming with 38 points into HP, which was a full seven points more than our current very shoddy best. To complete Extinction, we would need a lot of Corrupted Hearts. First to summon all three Titans and kill them, and then to summon the King Titan himself. So when we found a red OSD drop, we decided to do it, as drops are by far the best way to farm Corrupted Hearts, as well as get some nice loot at the end of it. I took my loot to a nearby terminal to upload some of the heavier items to the cloud, and then set about farming up some Spino Sails in order to summon the Ice Titan. 
Farming tributes has to be one of the least most enjoyable parts of Ark, but we only did 10, and it wasn't long before Owen and I were storming through the ice cave on our car chars, murdering everything in our path, and soon found ourselves with Max Frenzy Boost at the Ice Titan Summoning Portal. There it is. Get in there! Oh, I'm having a shit. Um. Go on. Yeah. What? I remember us doing more damage when I did this on single player. Right. Try and keep at the back as well. Watch for the um, ice attack. Yeah. So freezes you and then you, yeah, you need med bruise. Oh, wait. I'm being frozen. Yeah, so am I. We're both being frozen. What's that about? <laughs> well, I think we're a bit frozen, lad. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh. With the Ice Titan down and taken care of, with our mate boosted car chart combo, we then set our sights on the Forest Titan. Popping out our car charts at the cave entrance, we stomped through the cave, killing everything in sight to boost our frenzy before reaching the summoning portal and summoning in the Forest Titan. I remember, I feel like I took quite a lot of damage from this guy when I did it. Yeah, I think Forest is just some of the most. I can't. Eh? I just got dismounted and I can't get on. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do this growth attack. Are you good? You just broke all my arm. I locked my arm. I still can't get up. Um. Ah, uh, right. Kachi, come here. That's Easy. Oh. Te teleport, am not? Two Titans down, and after a quick break, I came back to hear Owen going crazy about an overspawn of Gigas and Karchars. It appeared that somehow Gigas and Karchars had begun to spawn out of control, which to be fair, I have experienced before on my 100 days Gigas only challenge on this map. A challenge I do hope to complete, by the way, upon the release of Extinction with ASA. There was a 130 and 145 Karchar right next to each other, so while I let Owen deal with these, I left for the snow biome to go for a 135 Giga that had also been spotted, with a decent 26 points in melee. I trapped it into some metal gates, and all seemed to be going quite well, until Carnage broke loose. Uh, oh my god, a Karchar's just spawned. It's level 145? What is going on? Alright. Um. Uh. Um. Rampy! Oh, that's a sticky one. After escaping the trap, the Giga proceeded to run the 1500 meters and set a world record before we finally managed to track him down and place a couple of gates, trapping him into this metal structure over here. I left Owen to knock it out and it did come out with 37 points in melee by the way. I went back to the island to gather some more Trank stuff so we could knock out a Giga of the opposite gender. We ended up going for this level 15 female Giga as it was just the first one we found and it would still allow us to make baby Gigas and prioritise getting the good melee stat going. Still in desperate need of a couple more hundred corrupted hearts, we took a trip to the corrupted zone, surrounded by corrupted Gigas and Wyverns, but as car chars with full frenzy are probably the most ridiculously overpowered thing in the entire game, we were able to farm up a ton of hearts. We were also able to locate a purple drop, which was exactly what we wanted, as it spawned in not only a ton of dinos that dropped the hearts that we needed, but also alpha enraged rexes, and we needed the tooths for these to summon the King Titan himself. After finishing the drop, we cashed out, and we got very lucky from what we got from it. Oh no, did I just... Oh! Oh! oh. oh Mastercraft Rex Saddle BP. Lovely. We do not have very... We're not gonna have the hide to make a lot of them, but I guess we make them for like Gen One boss, maybe. Um, oh, that hide's not bad. Just get a chainsaw out and we'll go murder things. Yeah, I guess it won't be too bad. After bringing the Rex blueprint back to the island and analysing what the cost would look like, we started to make the Gigas, as we would need to churn out a lot of these ahead of the King Titan fight. I did just need to farm up a few Sarko skins before we could summon the Desert Titan, but thankfully they do actually spawn in the Desert Titan cave itself, so it was not long before we were good to go. Alright, send it. I am sending it! Oh, they might not aggro onto me then. Oh, uh, I think he's aggroed on me. No, he's red to me. And the Desert Titan completed what had been a very strong day for us on day 4. We would begin the morning session of day 5 by preparing for the King Titan, and hope to have it down by the following afternoon. Day 5 began by us prepping everything we would need for the King Titan. 
Owen had placed down the replicator and we began to breed up our army of gigas. It was a bit of a grindy morning for both of us as we had to firstly raise the gigas, then level them all up, before finally healing them with our snow owls. And even with the help of them, it still took quite some time. We almost used our entire metal supply on making primitive giga saddles for our gigas, and we threw them out in groups on the ramp, ready to whistle them in when ready. Finally, we both decided to get 100 Frenzy on our car chars before riding them into battle and hopefully being victorious at the feet of the King Titan. Wishes luck, YouTube. Wishes luck, Twitch chat. Yes, but we might need it. Okay, sir. You see it? Get it. Get the gigas in. We get the gigas in. I'm only doing 4.5k damage. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm coming in. I'm coming. Okay, stuff it. Stuff it. I'll get my friends here. Get in there, Gigas. I'm here for a mate boost. Get in there, Gigas. Oh, no. Um. Right. That, that, that quite hurt, that. Yes, yes, yes. Keep that, going. That quite hurt. You missed. Oh my god, the Gigas won't. Gigas, please. Useless. He keeps missing me. Oh no, all the meteors. Get back. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah. Ow. They missed me, they missed Medbrews. me. Medbrews. That's what the Medbrews are here for. Hang on, is he down for his stomp? Yeah, yeah. I'm only doing 900 damage. Oh no, damage. this is not great. 4k? No, wait, that's on the these. It's the, hang on, the Giga's doing 4k. No, that was the um, thingy. I mean, we've done decent. We're, we've still taken off 300k HP. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, there's that. Oh, I, I can't move. I'm stuck in his feet. I can't move. Literally can't I move. It. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. They hit me dead on. Sure. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, no, because you need to whistle. Are you trying to whistle attack this target specifically on the yeah. Titan? Oh, my God, he's doing meteors on the ramp. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. You're dead? My, my car just got... It just wouldn't move. It kept getting stuck. Yeah. We're still doing damage. I literally can't get on my car. He's stuck inside. Oh no, this is so curtains. Where's my car? Inside. And we just like... Oh, 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 oh. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dying to fire. That's why I said med bruise. Whoa. I said med bruise. I knew we should have bought one med bruise. This is Giga, the this fight. is this is the one where we gotta get in there, yeah, and do max damage. Because we're gonna get one tapped. We're gonna get one tapped hundred percent. Oh yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. But you can I swear you can block it to do enough damage. How much I haven't got my also spyglass on it. What's his what's his HP at the Seven, moment? Seven seventy. This gig is not attacking. Yeah. Okay, we've avoided it. What? What that? What just happened? If you do enough damage whilst he waits, I'm dead here. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. My giga, gigas have just killed me. Oh, right. They, the gigas wouldn't let me move. And yeah. Killed me. Just having to avoid, having to avoid the attacks while being. Yeah, I'm dead. I know we're not doing much damage when he's in his super punch state. That is, that is the, literally the time to send it. Oh my god. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I think he healed up a little bit. I think every time he gets drawn back to I'm the center. Dead. Oh, I'm this not. is painful. I am dead. I'm dead. 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 What right now? Yeah, oh, yeah. You think his HP just keeps going up every time. It's a joke. Oh yeah. This yeah. fight is an absolute joke. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. You think we probably? Oh, he's down. 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 Oh, okay. Now we've got to send it. We've got to send it. Oh, he's really low damage. Giggers, get him. They should be getting in now. Come on, Gigas. Okay, oh, I'm, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. 100% dead. Ah. Oh. I, I think if you if you go underneath him, he doesn't target you as much with the meteors. Oh, oh he's up. up. I sent Gigas in. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good nice him. Oh! My oh, man, man is flying! I'm flying. 
time this. Get in there, Giggers. Oh, he's he's healing oh, up again. What? Absolute joke. Joke of a boss. Still can't do damage to him either, by the way. What? This fight unlocked PTSD of my Giggers only challenge that I had long, long forgotten about. In my eyes, it is probably the most busted fight in the whole of Ark. For the record, I'm not even complaining about the damage it does, its HP, or even its raining meteors that could probably hit you from a different galaxy, but rather the returning to the center bug, which just happens again and again. As you can see, it wasn't long until the King Titan had fully healed back up to its full HP. That's right, it healed up 1.2 million HP within the space of just a couple of minutes. This fight was now impossible for us. We got it down to about 10% of its HP, only to ultimately fail right at the end due to it moving all the way back to the middle and healing up. Despite being incredibly deflated and just wanting to log off for the day, we did not have that luxury. We weren't even sure if we could do all this in seven days now, but we had to at least try. Back on the island, we did everything we could to try and repair the mess that the King Titan had created for us. We bred up more car chars and gigas, as well as doing multiple metal runs to restock our replies. I also made a mech over on Extinction, as we had decided that in order to beat the King Titan, we were going to need some more firepower, so Owen and I set our sights on taming the Ice Titan. One problem with this though was the fact that if we wanted to kill all three Titans again, which we had to by the way to re -get, retake the trophies again, to summon the King Titan, then fight the Ice Titan once more, that was going to be a lot of corrupted hearts for us to farm. Still, we just had to grin and bear it. Last Titan of the day was the Desert Titan, and for some reason we had decided that we could kill this one with a mech. Not quite sure why we thought this was remotely a good idea, as it didn't do much damage to the Titan, and we would have had to have gone through a lot of element and also time to take this thing down. The problem was we had lost our shotgun stupidly in the King Titan fight, and still hadn't made any more yet, so we decided to try some bold strategies. Oh dear. Rampy! Oh, oh dear! The same. I'm still oh. on it. I'm still on it. But I don't oh. have anything to, to, to oh. do. How am I alive? I got your snow What the? <laughs> Admitting defeat for now with the Desert Titan, we left to go and farm a mixture of Corrupted Nodule on Extinction and some Polymer back on the island, which we would then use to craft up two brand new Ascendant Pump Action shotguns. Yes. Huge roll on the first one. I'm feeling a 480%. We are level 30, one. 30, 37% increase. We're well, level 120 now, you know. We could get we could get we can get bigger percentages. Oh, can we? We can. We can. Here we go. Here we go. 486 percent Let's go. <laughs> I wasn't I was joking. Jeez, that's a beast of a shotgun. And the next one. It's still going. It's almost there. This one's yours, Owen. 300 Oh, it's a stinker. With the shotguns made and some ammo crafted, we headed back over to Extinction, where we took out the Desert Titan with ease. Oi! <laughs> it's down! Next up was one of the most painful things I've ever done in my 10,000 hours in Ark, which was attempting to tame the Ice Titan with our primitive mechs, and an absolute donkey in Owen helping. Down. It's Down. gone, it's gone, it's gone, 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 gone. Where's the other one? On his, on his, uh, shoulder. And then for him to have high ground. Watch out. I'm gone, I'm, I'm dead. I'm probably dead here. You dead? No, he's gone for you. Oh, I really keep it in his face. Oh, I am dead. Hey, eh? I think I've, I lost the element. I think. Yeah. For those unaware, to tame this thing, you need to destroy the three corrupted nodules. One on his foot first, then it goes to his shoulder, and the last one on his chin. Our task was made much harder when Owen managed to run his mech down mid and right into the Ice Titan. We actually had to take a break from this whole taming process, and we sent Owen out to do a 25k element vein for some more elements for ammo and to make himself another mech. Owen being Owen, the second mech didn't last very long either. Yeah, but a lot of the time when you hit him for six... Oh, Owen. Oh, 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 you're dead. 
Gone. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's gone. Oh my god. Claim it. You say. Got it. What? Oh. Do we know if it's gamma, beta? How do we know? Um, I don't know. It's got 250k health. Two, level 225. Let's go. This was the first time that I'd actually ever ridden an Ice Titan, and I think it will be the last. It controls horrendously, and by the time I actually reached the summit of the King Titan, I had lost over 50k health to full damage and the corrupted Giggers that kept trying to munch on me. Still, we did have a brand new Giga army and an Ice Titan. We were absolutely exhausted at the end of day 5 and we just wanted to get this fight done with, so perhaps rather stupidly, we rushed into the fight thinking the Ice Titan would carry us to victory. Here we go ladies and gentlemen, this might be the challenge right here or right now. Make or break. Make or break. For the second time. King Titan. Giggas going in. Come on, Giggas. Get it in, Giggas. The first Giggas up. 900 damage. It's because it's because he's not loaded in properly, I think. I'm doing 20k health with the, uh... Oh! I got killed off. Straight away. That much damage to no, me. it healed up. It healed up. 100%. Chat will tell you. It, 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 the, the thing healed up. And the Ice Titan's dead. It was a genuinely impressive effort from the boys that the fight had gone way worse than the last time. This time, though, no complaints. While it did heal up again, we were nowhere near to finishing this one, and it clearly rushed into this boss fight unprepared. It might have also helped if we had remembered to set the Ice Titan to neutral, but the ending of Day 5 was a depressing state of affairs. Day 6 dawned, and after a good night's rest, we came back with fresh optimism. Only kidding, we were still absolutely distraught from the previous day. While the initial plan was to do the maps one by one, we decided that for both our mental sanity and the stream chats, we would move on to Genesis 1 today and try and get all the missions done and checked off. At first, it was just so nice to be off Extinction, and then reality hit in, as within one mission on this map, I realised how much I strongly dislike it. Now, there are some cooler missions on Genesis 1, such as Bug Beatdown, which is the one we have here, which you do end up fighting a Broodmother at the end, but we were immediately brought back down to earth with missions such as Swamp Placid, which has you hunting down a Sarko and his friends. The hunting missions on Genesis 1 are particularly notorious for being an horrendous time, firstly because of how ridiculously strong the alpha variants are, and secondly because you have to track down over 100 tracks to actually find the boss, which is one of the most painful and mind-numbing tasks in the whole of Ark. If you couldn't tell already, I am not the biggest fan of the whole missions on this map. Fine as an option, but having the whole story based around them is just not for me. One mission I do actually quite enjoy is King of the Swing, but that's only because I'm a die-hard Spider-Man fan, so swinging through the trees is always cool, although it's hardly playing Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. Bog Rally was another low for this run, as I began to seriously question some of the design choices of this map, and the missions in particular, but we were able to cheer ourselves up by doing the thrilling mission of Spy vs Spino, another one of those ridiculous hunting missions. Our moods did briefly improve, however, when we discovered the multiple game mode of Dodo Ball, only for Owen to scam me by shooting into his own net. After that, we decided to do the Cheaper by the Pack missions, which had us fighting a pack of raptors. For science purposes, after successfully completing the Gamma and Beta versions, we decided to see that if we could do Alpha, which can definitely be added to the list of Rampy's horrendous ideas. It's aggroed. It's aggroed. Oh, wait. Come in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. You're getting shredded. Ah. Uh Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I mean, because I have full frenzy, I'm probably about to be okay. They're about to come up any minute now, by the way, so I hope you're ready. Oh! Oh, they're there! They appeared out of nowhere! Go! Help! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. It's so dead. It's so dead. It's so dead. It's so over. It's so over. It's so over. Owen. I got it. 
Anyway, I think you guys get the picture. For most of day 6, we spent the day doing the easiest missions on Genesis 1 that the map has to offer. We had to do a total of 58 missions before we could summon the Gamma Master Controller, and let me tell you that that is a lot of time spent doing missions, especially when some of these could take 5-10 to 10 minutes. For time reasons, we obviously set our sights on the quickest 58 missions we could do, which pretty much meant that we had to do every single race mission, and by the end of the day, we had certainly worked out one thing. I wasn't very good at these missions at all. Oh my god. Uh-oh. As you... Oh, um... Should you do it? Uh... I would like to not comment. Of course, getting stuck on the dodgy terrain that Ark is so renowned for doesn't exactly help, but I was pretty soundly beaten at the majority of these races by Owen, which led to me getting my wallet out and gifting some memberships to his channel. As we closed in on the final missions, we left the Lunar Biome, not particularly something we wanted to do, but a game of Bulb Dog Pickup, which was by far the best experience we had had all day, was tempting us. On the last mission for the day, which required us to play Bulb Dog Pickup for 10 minutes, something happened which just about summed up our past 48 hours. Wait, what a tackle. Oh, he's up the right line. Oh, what's, <laughs> what's been, happening there? The stadium's been blown up. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? No, we just wasted 10 minutes. <laughs> day 7 had finally arrived, and we began the day by finishing our final Genesis 1 missions off. On our final day of our challenge, not only would we have to beat the Genesis 1 boss fight, complete all the Genesis 2 missions, defeat Rockwell himself and Gen 2, but we would also have to finally return to Extinction to take on the King Titan once more. It was going to be one hell of a day. One thing to note is this, the Genesis 1 boss fight is up there with the King Titan. Even with our Rexes now all saddled with the new Mastercraft saddles that we've made, this was not going to be an easy fight. As we glided over there on our Rock Drakes, I actually made the comment to Owen that I wish these Rexes had more HP in them. They were spec to around 20k HP in the rest melee, which when it comes to Genesis 1 boss fight, you are more looking for 30k HP. Still, it was too late to go back now, and we threw out our Rex on the platform where the Rave Ray 64 mission is done, and prepared for battle. I'm, I'm having all the stu- all the soups. Look, I've got them all. Yeah. We've even got a Shadow steak on for the aim. Come on, then. It's been so long since I did the boss, this boss That Rex there's not, is it? No, it's just about in, I think, 15. I don't want to risk it. Oh, it should be, yeah, it should be in. I think it's any part of the body's in, right? Doesn't really matter. Don't know. Come on then. Come on. Do we literally just just go in, just whistle neutral, and then like we just yeah. stick around their feet? Oh, I'm nervous now. Make or break time. Make or break time, guys. How do we? Oh, do how do we start? Uh, do we have to start? No. We're, we're, no, we're starting now. We just need stuff spawning, then we start getting get the keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we have to like right, press. Behind you. Oh, come on, lads. We literally do nothing now. We just gotta wait for them, wait for our Rexes to be killing. And then we go get the keys. Oh yeah, there's loads, the loads of keys. Yeah. Last stage is hard because there's gigas and stuff. No, the gigas come before the last stage, they're on the second to last stage. I got, I got almost a full 20 keys. They're attacking something in here and they can't kill it, and I swear it's just doing damage to them constantly. Oh, yeah, it's a Rex. Oh, I'm shot at one of ours. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing passive and dragging them away from there because they're just, they're just taking constant damage. Yeah, you, you can't hit it. Rex is spawning in. Loads of keys on the floor, loads of keys Rider on the floor. Ride a Rex and save ammo to kill him. Yeah, that's probably a good shout. I almost got, I've almost got a full 20 here in a sec. Giga. Giga. Giga dead. Giga, Giga, Giga gone. Giga gone. How much health did it add? I don't know. It got deleted. I think they only have like, yeah, eight, they only have like 18k health soon, maybe. More keys in. You got any keys on you? Or... I've got 10. The first three stages of Master Controller went relatively well. 
But stage four of this boss fight is where it gets seriously messy. And we were about to be reminded of that. I got off. I literally almost got a full 20 now. I'm running to the... Uh, Till 20, that's 76. I need four more then. I got 20. I got 20. Okay, I've got five. I've got five. I've got five. Go, 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 go. And we're doing pretty well so far. Mm -hmm. My oh, Laz well. is out. Is that what's... Oh, Laz. On a wave, innit? Yeah. Yep, yeah, so this is where we have to shoot rock all of our shotgun. Yeah, we've got to get keys and then... He becomes, like, invincible. We, we, don't, we don't shoot him now. Oh, it's when he, he stuns you, doesn't he? That's key. Ah. Two keys. The Oh, no. Oh, my God. I'm, what am I on? Oh, I have to get on a Rex. I've got to start. You got a Rex? That's fine. That's fine. Oh. Does that Giga only have 7k health? Yeah, they don't have much. Reaper. Underneath the bridges, right? Yeah. I always find that it always ends up being a load of keys like underneath him. Yeah, yeah. Right that, that, that's why. That's, that's why I'm. That's what literally where I'm going now. That's seven. Bigger. Boss Bigger. Like five's dead. Dead. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Got seconds. Someone's still got plenty of health, though. I know. It's a bit more, a bit of a worry. Got seventeen it's... more keys. You got seventeen more? No, we need seventeen more. All right, I've got four on me now. There's a bunch here. Got ten. Oh, oh wow! There's another. I got, so I got 10. I got 10. I got 15. Oh, 16. Go, 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 just go, go, go. We got more than enough. Done, 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 done. Shoot him. Shoot him. No, he's still immune. Now, now we can go. Okay, he's, he's, he's over. Yeah. And we go again. <laughs> that was, an, oh my God, there's so many keys. There's so many keys here. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Don't die, Owen. Don't I die on me now. I'm stuck again. I'm stuck again. It's the Reapers. I'm, I'm, I'm just like out of the fight right now. Here I got then. 20, I got 20, I got 20. Oh my god, ow, okay. ow, ow, ow. Oh. There's so many keys on the ground. Where's the code breaker? Stuck again. 12, 13. I right, go, just go, 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 Sam. I got enough, I got enough, I got enough, I got enough. Go, 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 I got six. Oh, no. Fifteen. Oh, Jesus. Done, 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 done. Yes. Come on. Do them. Oh, I think it's like four rounds we have to go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. You can see. We did. We did. Oh, no. Giga. Giga. What the? Oh, that, that, that is, that is criminal spawn. Oh, my God. My health is 370. I can't oh, oh, like move. A, a reaper spawned on me. A reaper spawned on me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, dead. I'm, dead. I'm literally dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. What the? F I, I I got stunned and dinos. A giga reaper spawned on top of me. Absolutely nothing I could do. I got two reapers on me. An absolute disaster of a boss fight. In general, though, as the chat tried to comfort me, it was difficult to think of what I could have done more then. However, as Owen perished in the boss fight, he did make a comment about how his med brews were not working. So while I watched his POV and him suffer the same fate that I had, I did some research online about it. It turned out that the Injuro stew which we had drank meant that both our medical brews and stamina brews were not working at all. And back on the island, I tested this out to make sure. It does. It actually does. Injuro stew cancels it. Oh, that's that. I can't believe we've just we've just lost to Enduro Stew. Honestly, it was hard to pull ourselves back from this one. But the one thing that kept us going was the fact that this was the final day of our week-long challenge. And however it ended today, it was ending. Back on the island, I threw out more Rexes, and this time they did have the new stats that I combined, so at least when raised they'd be a bit stronger. 
We actually had also gotten a melee mutation along the way, so our best stats on the new boss rexes I began to raise were 38 HP and 42 melee, which was a fair bit better than the rexes that had just perished in the boss fight. We would of course have to make the majority of the saddles back again though, so metal would be needed once more. At least there was some good news though from Owen to perk me up a little bit. I'm hatching a load more rexes. We're going to have a lot of rexes now at least. Oh. Oh, what do I have here? You got here, lad. None other than Harry Otter 2.0. No. No, you, you're joking. Oh, no. What Come a day. Son. Oh. My, my day is saved. There wasn't much more that we could do while we waited for the Rexes to finish raising and heating up, so we decided to head on over to Genesis 2 and get all the missions done, while the Rexes sort themselves out on the island. I will say that I do prefer the Genesis Part 2 missions to Genesis Part 1 missions, though when you think about it, it's hard to say if that's just because there's a lot less of them. Of course, the main difference between the maps is that you would have to complete every single mission before we can take on Rockwell on this map, but at least that made it clear to us what we had to do. Choose Your Own Adventure was the first mission that we had to do, and our mood was not improved when we learned that the water on this mission is currently glitched, and you fall straight through it with no way of getting back out of it. At this point, you could really feel the game was against you, and the only way we could eventually do this mission was to actually cheat fly out of this never-ending water, which didn't feel particularly great. At least the final boss fight went relatively well, even if we did lose a car chart each, but I guess that's what happens when we try and use dinos that I'm guessing weren't meant to be used in this boss fight. The race missions were next, with Circuit Chase proving to be a completely unforgettable experience for all the wrong reasons. The Hover Cell one was a little bit more fun, and I almost had fun doing that one, but Down River Run soon brought me back to reality. Is this the worst mission? Let me know in the comments. Slide and Glide was next, which wasn't too bad to be fair, but after all the misery of the races, we decided to treat ourselves to some fun by taking on the best mission in the whole Genesis saga, Survive the Ark. Right, the main thing you got to watch out for is the, is the lightning wyvern on here. It's dead. Oh, it's dead already? Okay, good. Yeah, no, not the lightning, the um, normal one. Fire. They, did, they, they have one of each, I think. Lightning will knock you out. Lightning! I told you! Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hit it. Oh, it. One, it's one shot. It. No, it didn't get it. Got it. Nice. Why is everything on me? Oh, what poison's on me. Oh, yeah. I see it. Smacked him. Smacked him. Nice. Cut Death the, po cut the poison. The griffin as well. I don't remember griffins on Scorched Earth. I don't know about you. Um, they just like desert you there. Bow is good. Scout drones can stun you. Aren't you so? Yeah, this tech pistol beams. So nice. Oh, mech. Mech, mech, yeah. mech down. <laughs> A Titan for the? I can't remember. I uh, don't think so. Only two left. Is the gas bags? I mean, this is very easy on Gamma to do. That's the thing. As it gets gets harder as you. Go on. Right east, I think the um, tech pistol was. Third X oh, yeah, one. Buy some allies. Buy some allies. Where's the Dex? The Dex, the Dex. The Dex. <laughs> Where's the website? I don't know, man. <laughs> Ow! Got set on fire by a dodo. But where is the dodo Rex? I think he only spawns in when we. Dragon is best boss because it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're shredding this, lad. We are, lad. They gone in it. Ekbo's doing some absolute DPS on him. He's a goner. Boom. 
Is it? Race for the last one. The fun could only last so long though, as next up we did our first trank mission. There are three of these missions like this, which require you to trank a group of dinos before netting them. The Maywing one is by far the worst though, as they have an awfully bad habit of jumping away when they get to net gun territory. Star Dolphin was the next mission, and one that I almost enjoy once more. I've done this quite a few times before, so I'm quite familiar with the general gameplay of it, and the Rockwell boss fight at the end is actually decently fun. Hello Hunter Godslayer, I'm doing alright thank you, I'm doing alright, we're just making our way through Gen 2 missions. A lot to do today, oh asteroid, 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 asteroid. Yeah, asteroids are very important, yeah? Oh. Asteroids are very important if we ever see them coming in, because they do a yeah, lot yeah, of damage. Yeah, yeah. If you get that one on there, yeah I'll get this one. Drones are doing... Obviously, skiff again. Last phase. Last phase. Still getting this dolphin. I'll save my grenades Better. for Rockwell. How many grenades have you got? Four. I got nine. I'll save them for Rockwell though. Is it one more wave after this? Or this might, this might be it. I can't really remember. Please tell Probably me it's it. More wave. Please tell me it's Nothing it. Arc. Please tell me it's Oh, it's got to be it. It's got to be it. There's no way yeah. it goes. Nice, nice, nice. Nice mission done. Afterwards, it was back to the tranking missions, with the racer mission first, and then when it turned night time, we completed the bulb dog fetch, which can only be done at night, of course. The rest of the missions were a absolute blur, really. I think a lot of the missions on Genesis 2 are actually quite fine, and played with a group of friends for the first time, they can actually be quite fun. However, when you are just playing them on repeat, back to back, they become tiresome quite quickly. Code Red, despite being one of the longer missions, was one of the better ones. You fight some weird Rockwell hybrid Giga as the final boss, and all the biopods that you stop from being destroyed come out to help you in the final boss, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, maybe we bring it off the platform. Okay, yeah, we, we got we got to let it do its thing. Uh, let me guess, we can damage it now. No. Yeah, now we can damage it. Oh, Go yeah. on, creatures. Things that were not intended. Right, <laughs> cry of the guard chart. <laughs> yes. Oh. No. Oh, I win. I lost it. Owen's lost another one. Owen's lost another one. No, no, no. Life support, on the other hand, is one of my least favourite missions of all time. I'm not sure whether it's the memorising of the colour sequences I hate more, or the fact that you have to spend five minutes in a room fixing gas chamber by hitting them with a spanner. Five whole minutes, which cannot be reduced under any circumstance. When you are already racing against the clock, the last thing you want to see is a five minute timer. If you do want to watch the entirety of these missions, go and check out my VODs channel linked in the description below. I'm aiming to have all the seven days VODs up in the next week or so, so then you can enjoy the full seven days of pain. Oh, and as also, as we near the end of the video, don't forget to go and watch Owen's POV at some point, as there is literally so much content for us both in these seven days that his perspective will likely be very different than mine. All right, you lad. Oh, all right, lad. You want the smoke? It does not want the smoke. Absolutely doesn't want it. Don't want it. Oh, okay, it's a mech. We're done. Well, that was a bit of an anti-climat. <laughs> right, that's it. Oh, no. no! I've done an Owen. I've done an Owen. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Another gacha bites the dust. The Shadow Main Prowl was to be the final mission. As we loaded into the mission, I couldn't quite wait to be done with the Genesis Saga. I was almost looking forward to going back to Extinction at this stage. Regretting this. Right about now. One. Keep studying, mate. Easy. Let's go. It's done, guys. That's Gen 2 is a wrap for Rampy. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh, no, no. No. And the reason that I was so disappointed to hear it was white drops was because that meant that Mutagel was now spawning in the middle of the asteroid area on Gen 2, which was actually a good thing really, I was just looking forward to getting off this map. 
We needed six mutagen to do the boss fight, which meant 600 mutagel in total. And while I originally started to mine it using a mining drill, it turns out that your regular tech punch actually gathers more. Bit of a strange one that, but there we have it. On the island, we made up the wreck saddles after our dinner and saddled all the brand new rexes with them. These have been leveled to do the Gen 1 boss fight in mind, meaning 30k HP and the rest in melee. By the time we lined up to do the Gen 1 boss fight, we had already had our dinner break, which meant that all in one session, we would have to do three fights. Failing one of them would end our run once and for all. With no Enduro stews this time, we prepared to take on the Master Controller once more. Yeah. All right, here we go. The final stand. I'll go in now, I'll go, I'll go in now, so we don't do... We're doing full caps, we're gonna be behind. 74, six more. Okay, I've got eight, I've got eight. I right, go, 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 go. I swear the Rexes have all lost elf. I mean, uh, they, they have more elf though, to be fair. Yeah. How am I doing today? I'm stressed, again. I'm stressed. And that one that's got 44. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, I'm so in quite a, few, a lot of these on just this Rex. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, I think we'll kill these, start taking keys. Yeah. I'm going for keys. Yeah, yeah, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. 18, two more. Done. That's one. Mm. Okay, that's halfway. I got 20. Go, go, go. I need two more. Got There's him. loads around there, yeah. Oh. Get on. Get him in. Quick. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Right, what's that the health looking health. like? 30s. Still 30s. I mean, when you think about it, that's already higher than we even entered the last fight with. Yeah. Like, it's a right. quite a significant difference. Right. Oh, wait. Right. You seen the gigas yet? No, 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 no. Right, we just need 20. Get 10 each. Yeah. I got five. Four, five, six. I'm running back. I got the keys, got the keys. Got nine. Yeah. I got 10, I got 10. Get 11. I've got nine. Oh. I got one. You got one? I got one. I stand me. I got one more. Got one more. Uh. All right. Um, water, water, water. Yeah, exactly. Just use this opportunity. I'm doing Cactus Broth again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, check your armor. Check your armor. My armor's fine, actually. Uh, I can't check. Okay. No. It's right, we get on a part. we get on a Rex. We got we just got. I, I get on a Rex and stay under the bridge, so you can't get dismounted, basically, right? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They literally obliterate the Giga. To be fair, the bleed damage is there from the Giga is still nasty. Oh, they've got bleed. Yeah. That's the problem. Oh, so they got Giga. Go on. Ah. Uh, help. It's a bunch of stuff. Oh, here. I just keep getting dismounted. Right. Is it going to be. Is it key time, do you reckon? No, 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 no. No? Oh, yeah, I can see loads. What do we, how much do we need? 40 for the first phase? Yeah. It's 40 each time now. Okay. Oh, we've got to do that four times, right? Uh, yes. I'm going also. Ow, ow. Is that done it? Yeah, first, phase, first phase gone. Oh, when can we damage him? We can just shotgun him, right? Yeah, yeah. It's anti Get the face. Get the face. Oh, it's over. You done? Yeah, yeah. Start getting keys now. Oh, oh it's not stars. ideal. Not ideal. There are a bunch of keys around. A lot of these Rexes are, a lo keys. A lot of these Rex are still good on HP, you know? Yeah, I don't know why some are dying. I don't know go either. Keys, go, for keys, go for keys now. Yeah. Eight, 
18, 19. Oh, oh you got way more than me. 20. You zap him, watch out. I'm on twat, I'm on 11. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. I got I got I got twenty, I got twenty. I'm just waiting for you. Uh, it should be gone, should be gone, right? Does it does it despawn? No no no. Oh it's not. Everything still stays. Okay, so next round, next round. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here, but yeah, I'm getting back on the Rex. I'd get back on the Rex. What the hell got it stuck on? Come on, Rex. No, ow, no, ow, ow, ow. Oh, let's kick it. 11. That's another gig it. Bad idea. You zap him, watch out. Ah. Uh... I'm on 19. I'm going. I'm going. I've got 20. Where is it? Well, it's 16. Oh, I'm dapped. I'm dapped. I'm dapped. What Reaper on me? Um, I've got 20. I've got 20. Get him. Get him in. Get him in. Where, where's the code breaker again? It's all, it shows. It shows. Yeah, yeah I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Looking. Looking. I'm going. Guys, get that kicker there. It's a rex, actually. Tell me when you. Put them in! They're in, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. I'm. No, they're not. They're in, they're in, yeah, we can damage him. I I, I don't think I can hit him there. Okay, one more. Oh, there's a kicker on me! Send, you gotta go just with keys. But a full send, is that what you're saying? Yes. If we ain't doing that, we're not doing it. Giggers. 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 16. 17. Oh no. Oh, that could have been really bad. I got 20. Got 20. I almost got 20. Six, got two more. Uh, is he zapping? He's zapping. He's zapping. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. I'm zapped. Oh yeah, so I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going again. Have you got 20? Yeah, I got 20, I got 20. I'm going. Okay, I, I, 20 is in. Yeah, I'm going. Is this it? Is this it? Yes, this should be it. Oh, come yeah. on. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 he's up in. Please, no. Is that getting me? I'm zapped. I'm zapped, I'm in. I can't. Get him in, get him in. I'm zapped again. He's in, he's in, he's in, he's in. Come on. You down? Down? Let's go! Oh, come on! Oh, damn. Huge dub. Huge dub. Second time lucky and the master controller was down, and Owen and I were breathing a big sigh of relief. The dream was still just about alive, but two boss fights remained. Before we went over to Gen 2, however, to take on Rockwell, we had to return to Extinction once more, to do some final preparation for the King Titan fight. I'll let you give that a watch. When you feel it's hopeless 
As we decided that the King Titan would be a better final fight, especially considering all the pain and suffering it had given us in the past couple of days, I returned to Gen 2 and met up with Owen. As I made my way through Rockwell's inn yards, dodging his tentacles, it suddenly occurred to me that I had never actually done this boss fight before. I was assured by my Twitch chat and Owen that this boss fight wasn't too much of a challenge, but I've heard this before with Ark and lived to regret it. And then he, like, he just waffles now. Can we not attack it with the Rex? No, no, it's pointless. You do like no damage, which is what he's saying right now. Oh, we do like no damage? Yeah, yeah. What we we just got? need to listen to them. Elena and Rockwell just chat to each other. Okay. We are going to need more firepower. This okay. one we... Come to the investigate. Okay. I am on my way. Fader said there might be one each, but we don't know. And then basically just stay in this the whole time. Yeah, there's one each. Oh, let's go. Oh, I said, what, a hyper beam? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Oh my word, he's been absolutely destroyed. And now we've got to kill tentacles again. The thing is opened up, but we need to get oh, back in Oh, XMX energy. It's, it's, it's ready. It's back again. Okay, you start beaming it. I can't do mine. Okay, mine's back up. Rockwell nodes going down. Lovely. Nice. Easy down. Easy down. Have we got to wait for them to, like... Finish chatting. Finish chatting, yeah. Oh, it's growing now. Oh yeah, I can see his face. I can see him waffling. Oh yeah, connect him, connect him. Comes to an end. Oh, got a Rex quick. Oh dear. The Rex is taking the tentacles out of the right, front. So get it. Acid, 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 acid. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, there's a lot of us. Isn't the, 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 rock, what, the Rexes are murdering him. Oh, yeah. Go on, Rexes. Go on, Rexes. Oh, he's got one health left. He's down, isn't he? No, he's got one health left, mate. Eliminate Rockwell once and for all. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Last him with the XO Mech Bane. Yeah. Come on, Mechies. Then come and get on them. We, we, we got to wait for them to finish their chat. Yeah. Oh, dear. This fight is way too easy. Way too easy. What's our Brexit health looking like? Oh, yeah. They've barely, basically they've all, barely all lost again. anything, yeah. Why do we just blast him now with the Should Mega B? Do this no, side, side by side. Oh, yeah, ready? Yeah, Go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Goodbye, Rockwell. See you later, Rockwell. You're an evil man. We're coming for you, King Titan! <laughs> It might be in the wrong order, but we're coming for the King <laughs> Titan. <laughs> and with that, Genesis Part 2 was completed. Possibly one of the easiest final bosses I've ever done on Ark, but given the past six days, I was not complaining about that one bit. But we were not done yet. We had one peak left to conquer. The King Titan. Everything prepared, one week's worth of work went down to this. At 10 minutes to midnight on our seventh day, I stood up on the King Titan platform to give the troops one final rousing speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitch chat, future YouTube viewers, 200 giggers, welcome to the summit of our seven day battle against the whole of Ark. It has been quite some journey. It has been filled with ups, downs, Getting stomped on by the King Titan twice. Getting stomped, on by, getting stomped on by Genesis boss <laughs> once. But then we got back up. And here we are. We are back here for the final battle. And I would just like to say that some of you may die, but that <laughs> is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. Any final words, Owen? Let's get this King Titan. Ariotta, go. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh god, I'm summoning it. I'm gonna take Harry on and throw him in. Harry, you have a you have a you have a service you must fulfil. Let's we can do damage yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm doing 255 damage. Not too bad to be fair. Um, I, I don't know if you if you can see, but Harry is um making his way in. Oh. <laughs> Kickers, kickers are off to a good start. <laughs> I'm doing 146 damage per shot. I'm doing 255. Harry's made it. He's doing damage. Go on, Harry, son. He, he, he died. <laughs> Come on. Let's have it. Decent start. Get them, boys. It's just the gigas just don't appear to be biting. Oh, they just keep stomping. Stompatron. Yeah, they're not biting. I don't. St I don't know why. Oh, 
Oh, they get are him, biting. Guys. Get him. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There's a lot of damage being done right now. We've got to kill this punch, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down under a million now. I don't have a spider glass on, so... I, I do. I'm down to 900. He's dropping pretty quick. 970k. 970k. Can't cancel this, whatever it is, attackers. Oh, maybe we can. do not really look like he's done very much, does it? Are we back to normal damage now? Punch in! Oh, that was nasty. Too far to deal damage. We need to get back in the... Is he going we down again? Back in. Is he going down again? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, is this the one we can cancel? Oh, he's doing, we're doing max damage. This has got to be it. The Giggas have got to do big damage here. I'm getting them in. I'm getting them in. This is the one where we can do... Pretty big damage at the moment. I need to, I need to heat. He's missed him with, he's missed him with that attack. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm to run away from the Giga. <gasps> he's down, he's down, he's down, he's down, he's down. I'm going again. I haven't, is it, are we doing the reduced damage? This is the healing plan. Yeah, yeah. All right. Come on. They're doing damage. Come on. Come on, Giggers. Let's go. I have faith. What, what, what health? 394, 3k. Come on. This has got to be it. If, if there's ever going to be a time, it's got to be now. Both, both, both groups of Rexes and Giggers are buying. And the dance fringe, okay? Yeah, the Rexes and Giggers are doing damage. Damage! I put him. Oh, okay, he's back. He's back. Right, he's Punch. often in. Yeah, he's often invincible, right? Yeah, yeah. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Thumbs up, a lot of stuff survived. Yeah. We can't. We can't damage him. He, oh, no, he damaged, yeah. we can damage him again. Damage him again. Oh, he's, got, he's oh, down, he's down. Yeah, this, is, this is go time. This is, this this is, is go it. Time. This is it. He's got to go. He's got to go, blood. I can't use my gun. I can. I can. Oh, he's getting melted. He's getting melted. Down to 70k. This is it. 50k. Come 30k. On. 27k. 6k. He's gone. He's gone. Get, take that. Oh, I hate you with all my heart. Take that. I hate you so much. Where's Harry? This is for Harry Otter. So, there we have it. After much struggle, severe lack of sleep, and now a very sore back, we had successfully taken down every single Ark Survival Evolved map in seven days. If you did enjoy this video, then please do remember to leave a like, as it really does help to support the channel and push the video out. Let us know if you would like to see a repeat of this challenge with all the modded Ark maps instead, or perhaps we will repeat it down the line when Ascended hopefully has some more content. In the meantime, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to catching you all in the next one. Bye bye for now.